Hey everyone, welcome back to Aircraft Technician Network, your ultimate guide to careers in aviation. If you're passionate about aircraft maintenance and are considering becoming a licensed aircraft engineer to work on an aircraft, you're in the right place. Today we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about getting your A and P license eligibility and requirements. So let's get started. An A and P license is an aircraft mechanics airframe and power plant license certification. It is a qualification issued by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, in the United States. The A and P license allows individuals to perform maintenance, inspect, and repair aircraft airframes and power plants. The A and P license is divided into two main ratings, airframe and power plant. An individual can hold either an airframe rating, a power plant rating, or both. The airframe rating covers the structural components of an aircraft, such as the fuselage, wings, and landing gear. The power plant rating covers the aircraft's engines, including reciprocating and turbine engines and their associated systems. Although most people only think of commercial airplanes when they hear aircraft, it also applies to helicopters, propeller-driven airplanes, and any other aircraft that has been registered with the FAA. To earn your A&P license, you must attend a FAA-certified A&T school or have at least 30 months of relevant civilian or military work experience supervised by a certified aviation mechanic. The FAA issues the A&P certificates, and mechanics can get either an airframe rating or a power plant rating or both. Most mechanics get both. Those who want a certificate with just a single rating and who base their application on practical experience must demonstrate 18 months of work experience applicable to the chosen rating. To obtain an airframe and power plant A and P license in the United States, an individual must meet specific requirements set by the FAA. To be eligible for this certification, there are certain requirements set up by the FAA that you must meet. They are 1. You must be at least 18 years old to apply for an A&P license. 2. Language proficiency. You must be able to read, write, speak, and understand the English language, as it is the international language of aviation. 3. Graduation from an FAA-approved Aviation Maintenance Technician AMT program. Your training program must cover a wide range of topics related to aircraft maintenance, including theory, regulations, inspections, repairs, and safety procedures. These programs typically include classroom instruction and hands-on practical training in aircraft maintenance. If you are in the military, then you can complete the Joint Service Aviation Maintenance Technician Certification Council JSAMTC training course. However, attending a school or training course aren't your only options. If you are already employed with a facility that is engaged with the construction, maintenance, and or alteration or aircraft, power plants, and or appliances, you may gain your practical experience that way. If you are seeking certification in only airframe or only power plant, then you are required to have 18 months of practical experience with the procedures, practices, materials, tools, machines, and equipment generally used in each field. However, if you are going for both airframe and power plant, then you must have 30 months or 2,000 hours of practical experience on performing duties for both areas. After completing the required training, aspiring A and P mechanics must pass written and practical examinations administered by the FAA. The written exams test the candidate's knowledge of aircraft maintenance concepts, regulations, and procedures. You need to pass written knowledge tests covering airframe and power plant topics. These tests assess your understanding of aircraft maintenance concepts, regulations, procedures, and safety practices. The FAA provides a list of subject areas you should study to prepare for the written exams. After passing the written exams, you must demonstrate your practical skills by completing a practical examination. The practical exams involve demonstrating skills in performing maintenance tasks on aircraft systems, components, and structures. There are three written examinations. One is general, and then there is one each for airframe and power plant. Then the oral and practical tests. The practical test includes performing maintenance tasks on actual aircraft systems, components, and structures under the supervision of an FAA-designated mechanic examiner, DME, or an FAA inspector. Once you have met the requirements, you can apply to the FAA for an A&P license. The application includes submitting the required documentation, such as proof of education or work experience, passing test results, and other necessary forms. 
The DME will submit your scores directly to support your application. The FAA will conduct a background check to ensure you meet the character and fitness requirements for holding an A&P license. This involves verifying your criminal history, past aviation-related violations, and any sanctions or revocations of aviation certificates. It's important to note that the specific details and processes may vary, and it's advisable to refer to the FAA's official guidance and regulations for the most accurate and up-to-date information. There may also be additional requirements or considerations for international applicants or those seeking a specialized A and P license, such as for inspection authorization IA privileges after obtaining the A and P license. Holders of an A and P license are authorized to perform various maintenance tasks on aircraft airframes and power plants. This can include inspecting, troubleshooting, repairing and replacing components, conducting routine maintenance, and complying with airworthiness directives. Successfully obtaining an A&P license allows you to perform maintenance, inspections, and repairs on aircraft airframes and power plants, and it is a valuable qualification for a career in aircraft maintenance. A&P mechanics are also responsible for signing off on maintenance tasks and certifying the aircraft's airworthiness. As an A&P mechanic, if you have the training, qualifications, and tools, the FAA will allow you to work on avionics as well. Avionics technicians with AET or GROL certificate are not specifically required to have FAA certification if they receive their avionics training in the military or from working for an avionics manufacturer. To maintain the A&P license privileges, individuals must fulfill certain continuing education requirements. This typically involves completing recurrent training courses, staying updated with advancements in aircraft technology at intervals. It's important to note that the A&P license is specific to the United States and its FAA regulations. It is needed for U.S. registered aircraft. Other countries have different certification systems for aircraft mechanics although some countries recognize the A&P license as a qualification for certain purposes. The A&P license is highly regarded in the aviation industry and is a common requirement for employment as an aircraft mechanic or technician. It demonstrates the knowledge, skill, and competence necessary to perform maintenance on aircraft airframes and power plants in a safe and compliant manner. Although your A&P certificates don't expire, you must remain current by meeting several criteria, including completing a minimum of 1,000 hours of hands-on work experience during the previous 24 months, or completing a refresher course, and completing at least 16 hours of additional training every 24 months. The additional training requirement is usually satisfied by attending manufacturer events or training with outside contractors hired to conduct the training. That wraps up our Getting Your A&P License Eligibility and Requirements session. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. If you have more questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.